Hey, it's James Falls Rice and Resource. Hashtag How I Got Custody. Reminder, the best way to get some help from me is to get a consultation. Check out my flow page. If you don't want to get a consultation, at least look on my flow page. The section that says must-see information. you got to have that. I put that out there and call it must-see information because it's must-see information. If you trust me, somebody's been doing this since 2001 and won over and over in court That at that time and since then. And on my flow page, you can look at my winning court orders, my custody order, my first attempt at contempt. I destroyed the mother, the guardian litem, and her 17-year experience attorney when I barely had any understanding of the court system. I won in the Court of Appeals a couple times against an attorney with over 40 years of experience. He eventually had 50 years when he retired. I won some and lost some, but I've won some huge ones. Uh, you can see a transcript from a commissioner who says maybe I should go to law school because my paperwork was written so well. It's all right there. I, I show you stuff that no attorney, no other legal advocate shows you. You know, Judge Anthony charges 650 bucks an hour to do the same kind of stuff that I'm doing, except his stuff is way fancier because he's a judge. Does he ever show you proof of when he was giving dads 50-50 when he was a judge? No, because he probably never did it. Is he showing you proof of people winning in court? He's got some testimonials. I got testimonials too. He's got like a million followers and I got like testimonials as often as he does. Not sure what that says about his 650 bucks an hour services, but if I'm doing just as well as him with testimonials, you know, there's always testimonials that nobody gets back to you and tells you about. So, but we just have to go off of the evidence and the record. So anyway, just a couple of reminders. Or at the very least, what if you don't ever want to pay to point with me? Watch all my free videos. It's $50,000 worth of information. If you got the information I share in my videos, if you got that from an attorney, it would cost you $50,000. If you went to my Instagram, my TikTok, and my YouTube channel. And, and, and Facebook, sorry. But, um, so anyway, I want to talk about this goofy, weird cult mentality of men like can we stop whining and crying and saying oh i don't want to go for custody because i don't want to take the child from the mother first of all you have such a slave mentality and such a cowardly mentality if you're thinking like that the child's gonna live with somebody why not you like every guy who tell i don't want to take the child away from the mother every guy who ever tells me that says the mother's mentally ill she's a narcissist she abuses the kids she's suicidal she's a pill popper all these different reasons to rescue your child and put her on supervised visitation. And you say, oh, I don't want to go for 55, 45% full custody because I'm taking the child away from the mother. As if you're a kidnapper hiding the child's whereabouts from the mother. That doesn't make any sense. You have such a slave mentality, really like... You know, when you see in the movies like Django or, you know, you got a house slave. That's protecting the slave owner, the master of the plantation. Oh, I don't want to do anything that blasphemes my master. That's really literally the mentality that you have. Well, I don't want to take the child away from the mother. First of all, again, the courts hate 50-50 generally. There's a few states that have a presumption of 50-50, but all those judges go to seminars that say, screw the dads, and if they, if they do 50-50 or give custody to the dad, they're not getting as much bonus money from the VA, Joe Biden's VAWA. They're not getting it from the uh, Bill Clinton's uh, Title IV-D bonus money for child support. I mean, most of you guys already know, when a court orders child support, let's say they order you to pay 500 bucks a month. That court just got $500 of bonus money that goes into a slush fund pool for your state. And at the end of the year, they have secret meetings and the judges and the family law magistrates and DSHS and CPS workers all get together and say, hey, give me my, there's, there's, there's $3 billion in this pot. Okay, we, we should get a billion because we're the ones who ordered that stuff and you guys can split up the rest. You know, they cut their, they get their piece of the pie. They don't want to grant 50-50. I had, I had a couple that I worked with. I can't remember I, if I wrote up their final orders or, or what. But it was a while ago, I, but I vividly remember this part. They went in with agreed orders for 50-50, and the family court commissioner in Snohomish County, Washington, Everett, Washington, like the fourth biggest city in the state. It's a naval base town. The family court commissioner says, I hate 50-50 plans, but I got to do what you guys say because you agree. She reluctantly was mad that they wanted this 
for their children and she's sitting there dictating, I don't like 50-50 plans. It's their family. It's their life. And this judicial officer is sitting there saying, I don't like them, but I got to do it. Like it's up to her with her little God complex. Anyway, think about this. Well, I, don't, I don't want to take the kids away from my mom. First of all, all the statistics say that in a broken family, children do better when the father's in the home full time. Or, chill, or to the contrary, this is, this is the statistics and the science that I have on my flow page. It's there for free. But 99% of you guys, when I, even when I talk to somebody having an appointment, did you get a chance to check out my flow page? You didn't even look at it. And I talk about it all the time. It's free information. It's free game. It's free evidence and scientific evidence to help you in your court case. And you go to court after watching my videos for four or five months with your attorney. And they say, oh, your honor, please, you know, treat my client as an equal human being. I, I beg of you. I kiss your ring, Your Honor. I bow down and worship you. Please help my client. You ignore all the science and all the data and everything. You know, we went through COVID and they said, everybody shut down, wear a mask, uh, take a shot, don't hug anybody, don't interact with human beings, don't get any sunlight. All the fast food uh, and the bars and the fast food joints are open. All the organic stores are closed. And do it in the name of the science. Just because the science says so. So if we shut down the world in the name of science, why don't you go get your kid in the name of science? The single custodial mother experiment has utterly failed because half of these women out there just want the welfare or just want this and that. Half of them are committing welfare fraud. I recently dated somebody who's committing welfare fraud and she's a psychotic, crazy child abuser I found out at the end. I got suckered like a stupid jackass believing her damsel in distress story because she's a friend for 10 years and I really believed her bullcrap. And she actually had evidence, you know, but she was working, get, running game. That's the average single custodial mother nowadays. That's the real blasphemy against women. They're mocking women. The good women out there who are down to earth women who want to team up with a guy and do God's order for the family or nature's order for the family. You're a team, and the dad is the leader. When somebody breaks into a home, you don't hide behind the wife. You hide behind the man. When everything hits the fan, the man is expected to be the provider. He's the protector. He's the overseer. They're a team, and each part is equally important, but the roles are different. And so when you take the captain of the ship away, or the CEO, or the head, or the boss, or the quarterback. If you take Tom Brady away from the Patriots, look at look at what happened. You know? So you take the leader away, kids suffer. Now the science says that. So why wouldn't you want to give the kid the best chance possible? And then on top of all this, all you little crybabies who want nothing, you, who don't want to hurt the mother's feelings or commit blasphemy, if you get custody, let the mother see the kid whenever you want. Duh. Why didn't you think of that? You're not taking the child away. You're just scared or brainwashing to think it is blasphemy if you try and do anything and try and go for what they're going for. They're going to give custody to somebody. Might as well be you.